Hi, it's Zach from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another book to read for you. Today's book is Clothes Make the Gonzo from 1991. So let's get started. Gonzo buckled the last buckle on his galoshes, stood up and looked in his dressing room mirror. No doubt about it. It was his best outfit ever. In addition to the black rubber boots, Gonzo had on a pair of red and white striped tights, a big white shirt with purple polka dots, a pair of glasses with black and white check frames, and a green Robin Hood hat. You are a handsome guy, he said to his reflection in the mirror. As he turned to try and catch a glimpse of his back, he heard a knock and then the door opened. Scooter stuck his head in. Five minutes, Gonzo, he said. Better get dressed. I am dressed, said Gonzo. I mean, you better put on some clothes you are going to wear on stage, said Scooter. I'm going to wear this, said Gonzo. Scooter shook his head. You have wore some weird outfit on the, the show, he said. But this one takes the cake. He closed the door. I don't care what he says, said Gonzo to a reflection. I think I look colorful. Gonzo turned off the light and walked out to the weight in the wings. You look like number one on the worst dress list, said, said Miss Piggy. Another bizarre outfit from Gonzo. Collection of bizarre outfit, said Ralph. This is no time to tease Gonzo, said Kermit. Leaping Leonard is in the audience tonight. We have to be our best. Leaping Leonard and Jet Lag are my favorite band, said Ralph. Leaping Leonard, sighed Miss Piggy. What a dreamboat. I better go potter my nose, and he will certainly want to go out for a late romantic snack. After the show, she ran off to her dressing room. Gondo suddenly felt embarrassed. A rock legend was sitting in the audience and he was wearing an outfit that no one liked. He must look really bad. Maybe he still have time to change into something else. You are on, Gonzo, said Scooter. Too late, Gondo took a deep breath and stepped on the stage. Once he was in front of the audience, he soon forgotten about his outfit. He sung, danced, juggled telephones, and gave the best performance of his life. And when it was over, Leaping Leonard led the audience in a standing ovation. On the way back to his dressing room, he saw everyone cluster around Scooter. Leaping Leonard is one wait is on his way backstage. Scooter said, "There he is," said Kermit. Gosh, said Ralph, the guy who sings 30,000 feet in climbing. Miss Piggy went up to Leonard and smiled charmingly. I reserved a table for us at my favorite cafe, she said. But Leonard didn't hear her. He walked straight up to Gonzo. Gonzo, my main blue man, said Leaping Leonard. How about loaning me your clothes for my concert tomorrow night? I dig those threads. You mean you want to borrow my outfit to sing in, said Gonzo? Not borrow, said L Leonard. Trade. Leonard offered Gonzo a jet lag t-shirt that says the I'm tired word to her. He also gave some blue jeans with interesting hose and enough tickets to his concert so the whole gang could go. The next night, they all went to the concert, and when Leaping Letter jumped out, wait, jumped on stage wearing his new clothes, no one cheered harder than Gonzo. So that was G Clothes Make the Gonzo from 1991. So if you like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a great day with another video coming out real soon.